You heard it right. Earth is about to get a second moon, but before you get visions of two glowing orbs in the night sky, let's break down what that really means. This second moon is a mini moon and it won't be here for long. These little space travelers are fascinating, and we're here to dive into how they come into our orbit, what they are, and explore the moons we know and love, both the permanent ones and the fleeting visitors. Wait! What the hell is a mini-moon? It's essentially a small asteroid or rock that temporarily gets caught in Earth's gravitational pull, orbiting our planet just like our much larger and permanent moon. They come and go, staying with us for a few months or even years before being flung back out into space. In 2020, Earth had a mini-moon known as 2020 CD3, which stayed with us for about three years before it was ejected from orbit. Now, astronomers believe we're getting another mini-moon soon. How does this shit happen? It all comes down to Earth's powerful gravitational field. As Earth travels through space, it occasionally captures small objects in its orbit. These mini-moons typically measure only a few meters in diameter, so they're much smaller than our real moon, which is about 3,474 kilometers in diameter. Okay, so how many moons does Earth have? The main moon, Earth's primary moon, which has been orbiting our planet for over 4.5 billion years, is responsible for our ocean tides, moon phases, and even the length of days on Earth. Temporary moons, Earth occasionally picks up mini-moons like the upcoming visitor, but they're temporary. These small objects stay for a short time before being pushed back into space by the same gravitational forces that captured them. And why don't we see more moons? Mini moons are hard to spot. They're often too small or too far away to see without powerful telescopes. In fact, only a handful have ever been spotted. Most are asteroids that get close enough to be grabbed by Earth's gravity, and the capture can happen without anyone noticing for days or weeks. Here's the famous moons of our solar system. While Earth technically only has one permanent moon, many planets have multiple moons. Some of these moons are massive and intriguing, with unique features and mysterious landscapes that make space exploration so exciting. Here are some of the coolest moons in our solar system. Europa, Jupiter covered in ice, scientists believe there's an ocean beneath the surface of this moon. Imagine an entire alien ocean world. Titan, Saturn this moon is bigger than Mercury and has rivers and lakes of liquid methane. Phobos and Deimos, Mars Mars has two small moons that are likely captured asteroids. They look like lumpy potatoes. Enceladus, Saturn known for its geysers that shoot water vapor into space, this moon could harbor life deep beneath its icy surface. Moon schedules and orbits, when can we see them? Earth's moon, you can see different phases of our moon throughout the month, from new moon to full moon. The entire lunar cycle takes about 29.5 days. Mini moons, these mini moons can appear without warning and often leave just as quickly. Scientists track them using advanced telescopes, but they're tough to spot in the night sky without professional equipment. What about moons of other planets? Sadly, you won't be able to see the moons of Jupiter or Saturn without a telescope, but there are plenty of online resources where you can view them in stunning detail thanks to space missions like NASA's Cassini and Galileo. And why is this so exciting? The idea of Earth having more than one moon, even for a short time, captures the imagination. These mini-moons are reminders that our universe is in constant motion, with objects passing by and interacting with Earth in ways that we're just starting to understand. Plus, who doesn't want to live in a time when Earth can temporarily have two moons? I want to see the new mini-moon? While it's unlikely to be visible to the naked eye, you can follow its journey online through telescope live streams and updates from space agencies. Dream of seeing moons with your own eyes? One of the best ways to observe our permanent moon and get a glimpse of mini-moons is through a telescope. With just a beginner's telescope, you can explore craters, mountains, and even the famous lunar seas on the surface of our moon. And if you're lucky, maybe one day you'll catch a glimpse of a mini-moon before it drifts away. So, get excited, stargazers. The next time someone says, look, there's the moon, you might be able to respond with, which one?